Hello, everybody. Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. Now, last time on King's Quest V for the Nintendo, well, we did pretty much everything we had to. We got the whole poisonous steak thing out of the way. We got rid of the bear. We got a pie. All kinds of great stuff. So now, let's... Pretty much everything about this game, we're going to say, let's get this out of the way now because, you know, it's King's Quest V. You know how it can be. First thing we need to do, let's grab the stick so we can move forward into the desert. Dang, I think the mouse cursor is a little bit more forgiving than I gave it credit for. Not much, but close. Now, the one thing I remember about the desert that's coming up. Oh, wait, first the dog. There he is. Oh, there you go. Look at him go. Oh, right, that's actually kind of cute. This screen is not so bad. You can't really tell that's an ant hill. Well, there was like, so I can sort of see the ants. Whatever. Uh, we're going to deal with them in a minute because I always use the stick on the dog and the shoe on the on the cat later. But we're going to do it the opposite way around because it can be done. At least it could be done in the other one. And I'm pretty sure that dog will stay there forever. So if I leave and then come back. Yeah, he's still there digging happily away. No big deal. Okay, so here's the gypsies. Hmm. Cedric, you having a little bit of stuttering problems up there? And why are you perched in... Okay, I figured you would have stopped on top of the little chimney up there. Looked a little bit more conducive to landing. Hello, sir. Good morrow to you. Oh, no. Talk, and there we go. The sullen man doesn't look like the conversational sort. Okay. If I walk up to him, will he still get stand up and be all indignant? It's like, hey, it's going to cost you some money, bruh. There he is. It will cost you one gold coin to see Madamushka. Mm, where's your beard? You still do look like a gypsy. And your headband, my friend, is way too tight. It's squeezing your skull into an hourglass shape. But hey, it's your call. Your head, not mine. Now, the desert, in order to make it, I think, a little bit easier... For players, there's nothing but a hot, dry desert further west. Most people avoid it, if they're smart. If you insist on going there, I'll wait for you here. Ooh. Oh, God, I miss doing Cedric. Oh, my God. The, even the mountains look awful. It looks like dried balls of molten lava. What I think they've done, and I'm going to go check it out. I think they've removed... The the scorpion deaths that usually exist in the in the in the sort of pre desert area, so yeah, no more. Oh, I lied. There he is. The scorpion does exist. Well, lesson learned. So they didn't change that. Looks like a bunch of toadstools around here, but they did shorten the desert considerably. So all of your old maps that you made for the old version no longer apply. It's still uh, I think six tiles deep. But only six tiles across, I think. No, maybe seven tiles across here. And it used to be 11 tiles across, which is crazy long. Which did make it more challenging, but also really much more annoying. Because it took a lot of forays out into the desert to find out what's going on. And here's the biggest change of censorship. Uh, prepare yourselves, guys. We're going to take a drink of water and lament, ye demons, and howl. Ah, the cool water felt wonderful on Graham's parched lips and his body now feels rejuvenated. <sighs> Just kind of takes the soul out of it, you know? Where is it? Where are? Where is the nectar of the gods? Where is life and vigor throwing through me, I ask you? And here I am as I lifelessly and listlessly drink the water which turns to ash in my mouth. No longer Nectar of the Gods. Because Gods was too controversial for a Nintendo game. No mention of a word, a god. Any single deity. References are removed. And that's it. So it's this cool water felt on my wonderful lips. Sorry, guys. It ain't gonna happen. I lied. No, it's gonna happen later. Because every time we take a drink, it's gonna be... It, Graham, stop. Oh, oh, here come the guys. From across the desert sands, Graham can hear the sounds of approaching hoofbeats. All right, so let's hide. Uh, uh, he's getting into position to die. Yeah. Aha, an intruder. Slice, and down he goes. I like how he moves and watch out for the bad guys, Graham. All right, well, let's go do that again. Censorship, I tell you. Censorship, you can't keep the gods down. Ah. Oh. Life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Graham can feel health and... Oh, no. What was it? Something in rejuvenation flowing through him. Oh, no. 
Well, we're just going to play the original sound clip every time this happens because it has to. I wonder if I could make like a master cut of this game and splice all the voices in. That would be really ridiculously. No one, no one would care except for me and maybe a couple of you out there. But it would be, oh, I would love it. So normally, once you hear the hoofbeats, you have a second to hide. But, 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 okay, it just sort of happens automat. Okay, aha, an intruder. Well, <laughs> let's pretend that never happened. Actually, I never really got a message that Graham was being all dying of thirst and stuff, so maybe they made that easier too. Maybe they removed the whole, you can only go five screens without needing a drink and dying and, you know, burying your head in the sand. So let's just go straight behind the rock and see if that works. How do I, how do I get behind the rock? Can I not? Oh, there we go. I have to do it from this side. That's as close as I can get. I hope that's enough. Across the desert. Yeah, okay, good. That's fine. And his yellow face blends into the yellow highlights. Open sesame. Thank you. Oh, Lord, somebody left the, somebody left the meatloaf out. Clink. And off he goes. All right, so that's what we needed to see. So we saw that the, uh, it does exist. Now, I'm going to save here also, just to see if, uh, yeah, just to see if I do die of thirst, actually. I know there are still oases, but, aha, there it is. The hot sun and choking sands are taking their toll on Graham. He must find a drink, and soon. There is an oasis, I think, two or three screens down from here, so let's see if I can make it there without dying. Oh, nope, I think he's moving automatically, and... Here comes the vultures, there they, oh, there they are. They knew I was dying before I even collapsed. Too late! Graham collapses in the hot desert sun. If only he could have found an oasis. Oasis, oasis, oasis. I am not an oasis. All right, so that means we can go, let me see, so we became one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we can go eight screens before we die. So seven screens we can traverse safely. Or screens. If you're playing Quest for Glory 2, which we're not. We're playing Quest for Glory 5, even though we are sort of in a desert environment. I can see why you'd make that mistake. So here's an oasis, but it doesn't play the oasis music. Oh, yes, it does. Listen to that. Don't need your water right now. Sorry, thank you. Because, oh, apparently I do. All right, so maybe... Interesting. So maybe you don't need water while you're walking along the mountains, but when you're in the desert itself, you need it like every... Because we only went like, what, four screens? So I guess it's down to five now. All right. Well, let's get... Let's go ahead and drink the water then. Ah, life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. Isn't that much better? Isn't that much better? I, I love it. Love it. Okay. Thank you, modern technology and editing techniques. And then the, ga the camp should be here. There it is. You all right, sir? Uh, oh, okay. I'm down he goes. These look like ladders to me. They look like rope ladders. All right. So let's... I don't think I need to, but I'm going to take his water anyway, just because... No, no, I'll do it on the way out. Stop, stop. There we go. Okay. In we go. Let's get that staff. Wow, that, this is a techno beat on this. That's the snoring sound you came up with? All right. Looks like a sword. I don't think I can do much to wake him up. All right, well, let's get this, the thing. Scepter, that's what it was. Talking to yourself, Graham, har har. Taking care to be very quiet, Graham reaches out and takes the staff into his possession. Bye! As I clonk my way out. All right, let's grab one more drink of water and then we can go. And I'm sad you don't see the dancing girls and them also like rap laughing and carousing in there. Too much for the Nintendo developers. All right, let's get one more drink of water, and then I think we should be ready to get the shoe and escape this desert forever. Ah, life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. I <laughs> can't get over the techno beat. <laughs> That's so wonderful. Ha ha ha.
Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. There's a there's a desert oasis this way I know, but I'm not sure if I can survive long enough to get there. So if I go one up and then over, there should be an oasis. At least there was in the last game. There should be an oasis not here, then the next screen, I hope. I haven't gotten a warning message yet, so we should be fine. Yeah, there it is. Ah, life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. There we go. Okay. And now the the uh, boot. There it is. Das boot is das here. Dang. That's it. Didn't even tell if this is a boot. I guess we had to look at it first. But it is indeed a boot. You have to take my word on this. And there should be one up here. Yeah, I mean, we should be close enough to being rescued now, or out of the desert, rather, but we only have one more chance to hear this. Ah, life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, goodbye, Mr. Narrator. Goodbye. Well, there you are. You made it. I was really worried about you. You were right, Cedric. That desert is a place to avoid. But I made it. I'm fine. Mm, no, they made Graham so much less more confident than he was before. And what's up with his little Chico Marx hat, by the way, with a cigarette sticking out of it? A lit cigarette, might I add. Nintendo, why didn't you censor that? Hmm? All right, well, we got the stick and the boot, so we have everything we need to progress through the dog scenario and get the ants on our side. We're the ants sent by King Anthony. We oh, okay, it's not that far yet. I wonder if we do get the song. We've got to. It's got to. All right, so let's get the stick. No, we're, no, we're going to use the boot this time, because I always use the stick on the dog. Can I open it? There we go. That is so a cake. It looks like the Minecraft cake. Uh, honeycomb, stick, uh, shepherd's staff. Oh, wait, no, duh. We forgot <laughs> I forgot to open up the the temple. I'm an idiot. Oh, well, well, the boot it is. Cracked and dry from the desert sun. It's mine. All mine. What? What? Wait, what? I can't use the boot on it? It's supposed to be interchangeable. So is it only the stick now? How weird. Okay. If that's the way you guys want it, that's fine by me. The stick it is. An average stick of wood. Normally, you could use any one that you wanted, but I guess they figured that the stick was the only way to go. Here, boy! Eventually, blah, 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 blah. What I arc on that, by the way. Bye, doggy. Here comes one single ant to come out to meet me. Unprotected, your king, I could squish you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm King Anthony the Great. May I ask, who are you? Why, certainly. I'm King Graham of Daventry, and this is my friend Cedric. We're seeking a way to cross the mountains to the other side of the ocean. That is a very perilous undertaking. I wish you would reconsider, but if you shall not, in return for rescuing our home from that flea-bitten cur, I wish to offer you our help and perchance you ever may need it. Thank you very much, King Antony. Cedric and I appreciate your kind offer. We look forward to meeting you again. And there he goes. We'll see him again. But for now, we gotta go back to town and get the, uh, not the town, to the, uh, the temple. A little bit of slow down here as Cedric tries to work his way up. There he goes. Okay, let's go ahead and fast forward over there. We don't need to see all this nonsense. There we go. And just to kind of test my theory, I'm not going to take a drink out of this uh, water because I think the desert, uh, the, the, the thirst necessity is only when you're out in the actual sands or it just builds up slower while you're here in the, in the borderlands. All right, open sesame, baby. Let's do it. Open sesame! Do it. Oh no! The staff broke! <laughs> so overacted. Oh god, how are we gonna do this so quickly with awful controls like- what? Okay, apparently I just walked out. Game over. JK. There we go, and the gold coin. And out we go before we're sealed in forever! Ooh, that was close. 
All right, good. I feel we've accomplished something. All right, so we're going to skip the drink of water for now and see if we can make it back to town. Nope. Okay. So it looks like they actually did take the time to reprogram that it, the, uh, you can last about six or seven screens up on the top here by the mountains and the, and the, and the borderlands, but out in the desert, you can only last like maybe four or five screens. Interesting. All right. I guess we do get one more. Oh, how nice. There we go. Ah, life-giving water, nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. Uh, for old time's sake, off we go. Okay, and we're back. So as long as we're here, let's go ahead and give the gold coin to this fellow and we'll get another good old piece of, in of uh, exposition out of the way. And for those who aren't too familiar with the game, you can find out why our castle has been taken by Mr. Man. Okay, here's your coin. Nope. Go oh, clunky controls, would you please? Would you cut? No, now it's gone. Jesus Christ. There you go. Here's your gold coin, my good man. You may see Mother Mushka now. Again with a techno soundtrack. What is this? What is? Oh, this is original. So, you are here to see Madame Mushka, no? Well, come closer. Sit down. I will tell you your fortune. Already I can tell us that you are on a quest of great urgency. We will find what we can find out for you. Can you turn down the techno music, Madame Mushka? I can't hear a word you're saying! Looking glam, look into the crystal ball. <laughs> look, Manadon, look what I have for you. Oh, look at Law, he looks so cute playing with his dolls. Take a good look at what you did to my brother, Alexander, because he's doomed to spend the rest of his days as a cat, and there's nothing I can do about it. But you can do something about it. Since you're the one who did this to him, you're the only one who can turn him back again. Back into the wizard Manadon. <coughs> Alexander! Uh, that looks like the tailor. Uh, oh, no, oh, that's Alexander. I don't know how, Mordak. I'm not a wizard. I just happened to stumble across some magic spells and accidentally turned him into a cat. I didn't mean it. Please believe me, Mordak. I don't know how to turn him back into a wizard. You lying sack of shit. You're holding out on me, little man. You're taking advantage of my good nature, but not for long. If I don't get a change of tune from you soon, I'll feed your family to the cat, starting with your dear mother. Remember what I said. I'll only give you a little more time to decide your f before your family becomes cat food. The cat and him are like the same size. I think there's a scale issue happening here. That is all. But I see that your mission is indeed dangerous. I will give you some zinc to help you. I love how they say some zinc. Here, take this. It is a magic amulet. It will help protect you against any bad magic. Good luck, King Graham. And be careful. That Mordak is a bad one. Well, bye, I guess. And Cedric has to fly up there all over again because that's how it was programmed. And then I believe if I just leave and come back, nope, they're still there. Okay, so maybe I got to do the forest event first, and then they, uh, I know, I know it will cost you one gold coin to say Matamushka. So quite all right. Do I do the bugaloo in this version? Watch out for those ants, Graham. No bug. What? Oh, you just bounce off of them. Lame. You added the bear dragging me off to its lair to eat me later, and not- oh, well, whatever. Alright, so here's, uh, Rumpelstiltskin and his little marionette little boy. Oh, yeah, we can see the emo tree. There, there she is. Oh, lordy, you look- oh, what happened to you? Ugh, god, she looks terrible. See, this looks more like a curse than your last one does, but she definitely looks forlorn. Oh, uh, Miss Willow? Yes. You can talk? Why, of course I can! What did you expect? Well, I've never seen a talking tree before. What's wrong? Everything's wrong. Can't you tell? I'm not really a tree. 
I'm really a princess. Oh, you see, my fiancé and I were walking through these woods when a nasty old witch came along and was instantly charmed by my handsome prince. When he naturally refused her advances, she jealously banished him to a faraway land and turned me into a tree, and then she stole my heart. Stole your heart? Yes, she turned my heart to gold and took it with her. The only way I could become human again is to have my heart put back in this hole here. Now all I have to cheer me up is my harp. It's quite magical, you know. It plays the sweetest music you've ever heard. Now please, leave me alone in my sorrow. And I guess by the hole here, I guess that means we have to shove it into her mouth. We haven't met her prince yet. Let's go see if we can go find Princey before we rescue her. There he is. How you doing? Oh, where's the little splashing bluebird? Oh, lame. I guess they couldn't all make it in. How you doing, my good friend? Excuse me, young man. Sorry to bother you, but I couldn't help but notice you sitting there on that log. I was wondering if there was anything wrong. Why, yes, all the men in this game look exactly the same. As a matter of fact, there is. I've been searching everywhere for my fiancé. Spelled correctly this time. She is a beautiful princess with long golden tresses, fetching blue eyes, and smooth, creamy skin. I put the lotion on it every day before she escaped the pit. Have you seen her anywhere about? No, sorry. I haven't seen anyone like that. Especially not that tree who said she lost someone just like you and used to be a princess. That's what I figured. No one has seen her. I think the old witch who lives in the dark forest had something to do with her disappearance. Well, I'll keep an eye out for her. If you, if I see her, I'll let you know you're looking for her. Or something like that. I would appreciate that. Well, I guess I get better get back to looking for her. I'm not ever going to find her just sitting around here. Thanks for your concern. Well, goodbye. You're heading in the wrong direction, by the way. She's a tree and she's over this way. I could have told you that. But whatever. All right, well, enjoy your search. Your long, fruitless search. No, you're not getting me to say it again, Graham. Screw you. Or you got Graham. Cedric is your name. Wow, it's been too long since I played King's Quest V. All right. Well, I guess uh, we can take care of the the forest. I believe we have everything we need because all we need was the, the, bo the genie bottle and the amulet, which I should probably put on now. Can I use it? Can I use it on myself or is it automatic? Do they simplify that too? There we go. The magic amulet begins to glow softly as Graham slips it over his head and then carefully tucks it into the amulet to the front of his tunic, hiding it from sight. Oh, I miss the narrator so much. Well, that'll do for now. So the the oh the god the forest is probably going to be its own part by itself because with these frustrating controls, navigating is going to be a bear. But we already took care of the bear. Ha ha ha! And anyway, so we'll take care of that next. So as always, my friends, good night, jelly beans.